Welcome back. We are here looking at the cryptocurrency market. It's going to be my daily forecast for Friday, May 14, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And we'll start by looking at Bitcoin. And yes, Elon Musk is um, good for this market and also terrible for this market. This move, basically 10% plus 10% to the downside, is basically due to his tweets saying that, uh, well, um, Tesla was not going to accept Bitcoin anymore due to environmental reasons. Yeah, right. Like that is new news. Um, so, yes, the market completely crashed and we'll probably see a ripple effect for this also tomorrow. But uh, still, it found support at the same area where we have found support in the past. So that is a fairly good sign for for Bitcoin. We also are fairly overstretched here in the Bollinger Band. So uh, so a pullback, which we have seen late in session, has uh, basically occurred already. If you look at technical indicators, they are looking dreadful. If you have two days like this uh, occurring, then yes, these technical indicators will turn around. So at this current stage, due to the fact that we basically found support where we previous found support, this is probably as far as this will go. If we were to drop further from here, then the 40 and the 50 and the 200 moving average will most likely be major support. So let's look at Ethereum. Yes, Ethereum just fell apart. I think I said yesterday that this was a very negative candlestick and we were getting really overstretched. And uh, that is also what we are seeing here. It is probably going to have one or two more days where we'll fall and then stabilize and then continue. So 20 exponential, that is possible support. And the middle of the bullish band down here at 3,177 could also be where we'll find a major support. Technical indicators that are all turning around are fairly all negative at this point. So, so we have seen these move, moves before. It takes a few days before getting to support then a stabilization and then a continuation. And uh, that has been the same way for the last, basically the last few and the half, last half year when this really started to take off. So let's look at ADA. So this was one of the very few uh, more famous cryptocurrencies that really took off today. It found support down here at the 20 exponential at 1.5 and then just completely shot up to the air. We're trading at 1.85 at this current stage. We are overbought at this point. We are significantly overstretched. Had a little bit of pullback at the end of the session. Um, however, technical indicators are very bullish. So yes, pullbacks is basically where we'll find a major support. It's down here at the 20 exponential. It's also the previous highs over here. So that was a really nice move. If this basically breaks, then the 50 moving average all the way down here at 1.5 will be our next target. $2 will probably be the next target to the upside. So let's look at Litecoin. So this has really taken a beating today. And uh, usually bit, uh, Litecoin falls towards support down at the 50 moving average. We can see it here when it falls. We saw it here. This will basically fell below. But here as well when we fell towards the 50 and probably you'll have one or two more trading days, probably several trading days. Well, this will gradually grind towards the 50 moving average and then stabilize and then continue rising. So technical negatives are all turning around. They are very bearish indeed. This got way up at ahead of itself. And well, the comment, the tweet from Elon Musk didn't really help either. So 50 moving average will most likely be the target here. If that breaks, then we can head all the way down to the, uh, bottom of the bullish band, and that's roughly at $200. So let's look at NEO. This also really took a beating. Basically, the Chinese market took a beating today, and this is what they call the Chinese Ethereum. So this uh, broke the resistant uh, support, sorry, at the, uh, the 20 exponential moving average, which is has been very rare. We haven't broken that for a really, really long time. And we just crashed through it. And the 50 moving average is kind of now in place. So down here at 79 is where we'll most likely find our next major support. as also the previous lows here. 
If you look at technical indicators, they are all turning around and are very, very bearish indeed. So we'll probably have another one or two days where this basically drops towards support and then rallies to the upside. If the 50 breaks, then we can see this drop all the way down to 50 and probably that 200 moving average at 38. So let's look at Dash. So Dash has found support at the middle of the Bullinger Band at uh, 335. Technical indicators are all um, bearish at this point and the pointing to lower levels. So if the middle breaks here, then we could drop to the 50 moving average down at roughly, give or take, at $290. So this has fallen towards the 20 exponential and the 50 moving average when it, when it has fallen in the last few months. So yes, um, getting the tweet out of the system, usually that lasts, those kinds of news last for a day or two and then it's back to normal. Um, this market is getting uh, more accepted by big companies and it probably won't uh, go anywhere. The thing that probably will happen here is that in five or ten years from now, we'll not have will not have 5,000 cryptocurrencies. We'll probably have five cryptocurrencies and it will be the uh, best systems that basically it will survive. The rest of them will die off. So let's look at the Dogecoin. Not saying that this will die off, but uh, considering the massive fall this has been in the recent days, then yes, it could die off as well. So. We hit the all-time highs up here at 0 0.72 and we hit the lows of the days at 0 0.34. 30, 30, uh, so a massive drop. It basically lost half of its value in nearly a week and uh, as for what Bitcoin did back in 2017. Technical indicators for, for Dogecoin are still very bearish. We have broken the middle of the bullish band which was previous support. So we could be heading towards the 50 moving average at this point if we don't rally above the uh, middle of the bullish band tomorrow and head towards half of uh, basically 0 0.5. So is it be seen? Um, it is very risky to trade this at the moment. It can drop towards the 50 moving average. It could also rally to the all-time highs. Technical indicators do favor the downside. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And good luck and thank you very much.